بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اور السلام علیکم ٹوڈے وی آر ڈوئنگ اسٹارٹنگ اے نیو پروگرام وچ از آن انٹرویوئنگ اسکلس ہاؤ ٹو ہاؤ دی مینیجرز اینڈ آل دی ہائرنگ مینیجرز کین ڈو دی انٹرویو سو دس از پروگرام آن وی ول بی ہیونگ ڈفرینٹ سیشنس ان دس دا فرسٹ سیشن وی آر ڈوئنگ ٹوڈے My name is Omar Raza and I'm an HR professional for the last 21 years. I am a chartered uh, HR member of uh, Chartered Institute of Personal, Personal and Development, UK. Um, I have an experience of uh, working full-time um, as head of HR for uh, three big organizations, um, Serena Hotels, Crescent uh, and uh, Transport Associates. And over the last um, now about nine years, I am managing my own firm, which is Abundance Business and Consulting. And this program is uh, recorded uh, on the channel of uh, Abundance Consulting. Um, we hope that uh, you will learn a lot uh, from this uh, program on interviewing skills. So um, let's begin with our program. This is uh, Abundance Consulting. Um, this is our logo. and. Um, this is um, what we do is basically we do training consulting coaching and executive search um, and this program uh, is on interviewing skills for hiring the right talent for your organization so um, let's move ahead and uh, in our first session today we are going to Uh, share uh, some introduction about interviewing and of course uh, some best practices in Pakistan and around the world that um, um, I have noticed in Pakistan and collected from around the globe uh, some few few uh, good examples of how the organizations recruit people how they uh, hire people so uh, when we say it is only uh, it is the uh, hiring of the people and it is an interviewing skills uh, program uh, we will also include uh, some elements of uh, how the overall recruitment can be done into the organizations right so uh, let's move ahead and um, first we need to understand that um, there is no magic bullet uh, whereby we could just um, have uh, uh, a skill of interviewing and hiring could in be instilled into our managers um, this is by the way not only for the hr managers of the organization who are primarily primarily responsible for uh, Uh, hiring the people um, this program is equally good for all the other managers and uh, specifically for for the other managers who are basically um, given an additional responsibility uh, op- occasionally to hire people for um, their own departments to interview them uh, in their own department so it's a collective effort of the organization to bring in the right talent into the organization um, uh, uh, what uh, basically steps that we are going to take is uh, uh, we are going very we will be go, going very slowly and um, helping you to identify um, one the process of course of uh, hiring and of course uh, how a good interview can be done um, the the understanding that we need to maintain is that uh, uh, are you looking for the best talent right <laughs> so so that's that's a very simple question um, are you looking for the best talent for your organization um, what i feel is uh, the answer to this is uh, uh, that no uh, we are not looking for the best talent in the organization right so uh, somehow it may surprise some that why it is so that there's this this no uh, that we are of course looking for the best talent but i would say that um, when we uh, clarify ourselves that exactly what we are looking for uh, we can get a good recruitment process into the organization we can conduct our interviews into more um, as a more effective interviews right the so first we need to understand what exactly we are looking for so we are not looking for the best talent rather we are looking for the right talent for the for for the organization the person can be uh, a very best individual a person can be the best um, sales person a person can be a best it guy a person can be a best uh, uh, hr person uh, or a person can be a very uh, it should be can be the best um, accounting guy or chartered accountant or uh, or, or 
or a highly qualified person, a best talent in the industry that is available. But he or she may not be the right talent, the right person for your organization. So you need to understand and identify what are the right talent uh, ingredients that you are looking for for your organization. The best one may be the right one for you also, uh, but not necessarily the best talent would be the right talent for your organization. So what we need to understand uh, as, as, as a first step is to what is the right talent for our organization. To identify that, uh, we need to uh, identify and understand what are the customized needs of the organization what are the uh, what is the philosophy of the organization the mission of the organization the values of the organization the vision of the organization what is the culture of the organization uh, what are the job description of the organization what is the future goal of the organization um, are we um, uh, looking five or ten years down the line enhancing the organization to a level where it can become a global organization or we just want to uh, prepare a very well set um, uh, pool of uh, products and talents that are uh, <clears throat> that are that are just right for us that are just uh, right for us to make to to for us to um, be to remain in the business uh, for a longer period so it, it entirely depends upon uh, uh, your own understanding of your company uh, the own and your own understanding and your own vision of the company that will determine and that will answer the question that what is the right talent for your so there is no one size fit all formula for this uh, as an HR guy if you are an HR guy and listening to this you uh, uh, would be uh, you will be understanding it uh, better uh, that uh, the, the, the improvements that are being made over time in HR field the improvements that are made into the organization uh, in terms of their cultural understanding their visions understanding and their goals understanding the objectivity of the organization the these all the things have combined to create um, an understanding within the organization that uh, they may or may not be looking for the best talent but they should be looking for the right talent within the organization so um, as a hiring manager of course um, you got a tough job ahead of you um, to to identify and to hire the right talent um, to identify people uh, who could be who could perform in your organization into an effective and productive manner uh, it is a really tough job to do uh, and uh, of course uh, uh, into a 30 minutes if we are just um, uh, referring to the interviews where most of the non HR people are exposed at times um, it is entirely a very difficult it is it is absolutely a very difficult task uh, for those who are uh, one not into the HR department and then they are tasked Ask to find out to identify or to um, to shortlist and uh, pinpoint a person in just a 30 minutes or 40 minutes or maximum maximum 45 or one hour uh, interview um, to uh, they, it, it is an, it, it is a very difficult task to uh, do so in this just very uh, small uh, interaction with an individual um, so um, what we are referring here is that um, though it is it is quite difficult uh, it is uh, to to bring in the most su suitable or most uh, um, uh, the right talent into the organization within those 30 minutes so we will be combining the whole process into this uh, um, into this uh, uh, pr into this uh, program that it, you don't, don't only have to do just the interviews there are lots of other things that should be included while um, recruiting the right person into the organization right uh, so uh, many bad hirings uh, uh, are also there uh, that uh, uh, the, the, the bad hirings basically are also done to the organization. One, um, the uh, somehow bad judgment uh, of good education, <laughs> right? So the person has a good education, no doubt about that. But it's a bad judgment that you have make, uh, made according to that, um, looking at that person. Um, I can remember uh, 
number of examples that I have made bad hirings. Uh, one very specific uh, such bad hiring was done in one of my previous organizations, uh, where um, although it's not only it was not only me who did that, it was a whole team that we were. Um, involved into the interviewing skills we hired a person of uh, who, who was a graduate of ivy leagues i mean uh, uh, ivy league universities so he was from berkeley um, and uh, it was entirely i mean i mean he uh, we were so overwhelmed by his education and the way he presented himself uh, his education that we just uh, uh, fell short, very short of uh, identifying or uh, uh, understanding the the dynamics or the personality flaws that he had. So uh, once we hired him, and uh, then he was performing into the organization, and we were like, I mean, why he is why he is like that? Uh, did he? And we eventually uh, we, we we were forced to think that uh, it, it, it was his degrees uh, genuine. I mean, uh, did he actually? went to the Berkeley uh, and uh, university uh, University of Berkeley so it's um, so and we actually had to ask him to leave in six months um, so it is one bad judgment of uh, good education that a person has so this is also possible um, then there are uh, uh, bad judgment of good personalities also that we do uh, there are good personalities they show up very well they understand all the interviewing dynamics they understand how to approach a job um, they understand how to you know, dress up for uh, for the interviews and they just um, make us um, kind of they, they bring us they bring in that charisma with them in the interview that all the interviewing panel just get overwhelmed by the by their uh, audacity and by their how they how they speak and how they present themselves so that that also uh, somehow uh, is not a very good reflection of uh, uh, of the right talent uh, even that uh, reflection of even if that person has the right talent also or not so uh, there are bad judgments i uh, why i'm sharing these things with you i understand that in your organizations they might have developed some assessment centers or skills or uh, processes but even then even then there are times when the overall organization is interviewing the person, the, 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 the head of the organization is doing that or perhaps the panel is doing that, even then they somehow fall to some of the wrong judgments that they make in terms of hiring a person. It only comes out afterwards. So there are chances. They would, they, 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 there are chances available still and even after you understand all the dynamics of interviewing skills, uh, uh, please do not discard the option that yes, there might be some bad uh, judgments that you might have made in terms of hiring. So do not, um, uh, these are basically the opportunities, uh, in fact, to, um, to streamline and to learn from the bad judgments that uh, your managers make or your uh, HR make or your even, even CEO sometimes make that bad judgment in terms of hiring a person. That only comes out after five, six months down the line when the person is expected to start performing uh, very well into the organization, right? Um, this is, by the way, just <laughs> this is not a candidate whose picture I'm showing. This is just a model I uh, pick models picture I took uh, from somewhere. Some good hiring. That, these were some examples of some bad hirings that I did, and then of course some good hiring um, in my previous companies that I did. Um, and and these these are four examples uh, examples that I would like to show with you of the processes within those organizations. Some were already prevalent there, and some I instituted into the organization and. These are again just one, just few examples of uh, those um, uh, hiring or recruitment processes that uh, can be instilled into the organization. One, um, uh, Mr. called uh, Hassan Rizvi and uh, and a girl, Sadaf uh, Anjum, I hired for Serena Hotels. Um, it was about 15 or 16 years ago. Um, I mean, they, these are examples of job audition. So I will be sharing with you some, um, um, some catchy names, some fancy names also that uh, uh, you can utilize within the organization. Job audition means that uh, uh, they, they were hired into the organization 
uh, on uh, on a salary on a, on a on a little salary as a contract people and um, they were given certain task to perform and when they perform that well over a period of good amount of uh, months uh, and after satisfactory uh, performance of them um, we gave them permanent positions and they 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 turned out to be a very good, uh, they turned out to be very useful people for the organization and uh, um, by the way Mr Hassan Rizvi uh, then uh, is has a, has a success story also in 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 the in the in only ten years he turned out to be uh, he then uh, he worked in the Indusrina hotels for about I think uh, three four years um, after his uh, per, um, after securing the job and then he left and went to uh, many other organizations currently he is uh, a senior manager uh, of um, services in one of the one of the very big in, uh, industrial group right so this is one of the examples of the job audition when you bring in people you give them not a permanent position but you uh, create a uh, create uh, they, they, you put them into 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 their job that they uh, that you want them to do later then there is uh, mr javer wahid who is uh, currently currently working in transfer and uh, he is an example of a panel interview so there are different areas that we i mean we used to conduct panel interviews there and in panel interviews there are people who are sitting and everyone has his or her own perspective in the uh, interviewing panel so they ask questions um, assigned questions and uh, somehow sometimes they also asked uh, questions which which were not assigned to them but all three to four people who are sitting into the panel they uh, they know that what they are looking for they know uh, how to approach a certain question and how when when a person uh, is uh, uh, delivering a Uh, kind of an answer to the question how and who is going to handle that answer and who is going to uh, put an a, a counter question to that so there are different roles within the panel interviews also that uh, people are assigned to do for example a person is uh, usually sits there into the panel just only <laughs> looking at the candidate and observing his or her body language and um, and uh, he or some other person is just sitting there and uh, annoying the um the interview interviewee um so so so, so all the three four five uh, uh, maximum number of people how um everyone is assigned a role and everyone is uh, taking notes on different um aspects of an interviewee then there is one example mr wakar nemat who for cbl who is an example of a management training program he um, was hired uh, as a management trainee and um, he rose up to the level of uh, vice president into the organization i mean that's um, i i understand there are many other organizations also who have very powerful management training programs and there should be very good examples of the people who have risen from that management training programs within the organization to the highest level into the organization so they are very powerful management training programs and then um one ms prashra khan who we we hired uh, in serena that was an example of a group discussion so uh, uh, i mean all these people that i have referred here um they were examples of um, of uh, very effective very productive and uh, uh, talents into the organization um, they performed very well into the organization some are still performing within the same organization effectively uh, others uh, have gone to different other jobs and they are performing very well the reason for showing this is maybe not the names of these people but the ideas behind uh, their interviews the processes that were conducted like for job audition the panel interviews the management training program and the group discussion interviews so all these uh, are examples of uh, uh, conducting uh, uh, the recruitment drive into your organization there are many other also i mean assessment centers are one very ex- very um, effective tool the psychometric testing is one very effective tool the game application of the is very effective tool the project um, uh, the offline projects uh, uh, giving an offline project is a very effective tool um, uh, checking a person as a freelancer first um, before offering him or her a permanent position is a very effective tool so anything now anything which you think 
is suitable for your industry and your company um these are all the examples you should you should uh, you should see you should uh, bring up a policy within your organization that this is something that is very effective that we um should be uh, taking care of uh, before hiring people into the organization now let's move ahead and see some best practices around the globe what is happening in the uh, in the companies around the globe and i will give some pakistan examples of city for example does a 20 minute survey designed to evaluate candidates against the top ranked employees of the of the city so they conduct they use they, they conduct a, a small survey uh, and they they basically evaluate the candidates against the top rank so so they identify the traits of the top ranked employees uh, within their own organization and they have developed a survey as to how those people whom we are hiring are compatible or comparable with our top ranked so this is one of the practice then um, talent auditions as i told you earlier that uh, we did it in serena earlier uh, and uh, as a citadel comp- uh, which is a hedge fund company uh, they do talent accus- uh, talent uh, auditions within the organization charles schwab is ceo and senior directors dine out with the candidates they take them out and do a Uh, non formal or casual in a casual setting they understand how the candidate is and how uh, he or she could be a good performer within the organization lloyds banking group sets up virtual reality games virtual reality <laughs> games uh, for the candidates and then kpmg australia does video recording of the questions and answers and assesses the candidates based on the video recorded con- content so um, they do a video recording of the candidates and uh, understand as to how they are performing this is again say that again again and uh, uh, through the videos they collect the cues as to why he or she has said this or whatever the body language of the person is reflecting uh, through the uh, videos then google in some practices does not allow the managers to select the people for their own department and some other department managers do that so um, this is basically an idea of uh, reducing the bias uh, in the hiring process so um, although um, uh, our managers somehow see that okay i have the person has to work with me so i should be the first person to do that um, to identify or uh, finalize the person that um, should i hire him or but even google somehow uh, in some practices they don't do it always but in some practices they do it that uh, the, the 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 department in which the person is going its own head or its own person is not allowed to sit into the process of the hiring so uh, so uh, in in some cases they reduce the, the lots of biases and uh, what are those biases biases in, in further going down into the program we will be uh, discussing that not to, not in this program but in separate program of the same series that we will be discussing what are the biases that can creep into the interview panel and to the recruitment process then uh, some companies regularly search and reach out to individual candidates they think are suitable about half of google's hires each year are found through such a channel so they keep on looking their um, their uh, senior people or uh, their brand in fact keeps on looking and their hr departments keeps on uh, pinpointing the top talent across the industry throughout the year so um, so few of their people just uh, they, 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 they just identify that okay this is the right talent for us and we can Uh, bring that right talent into the organization then google challenges its own selection that's very interesting google challenges its own selection criteria by occasionally hiring someone who doesn't fit that is uh, who doesn't fit means that a someone who didn't meet some of the recruitment cr- criteria and measuring their impact so they are such a such a company also that uh, somehow they um, uh, they challenge their own selection criteria so uh, by hiring someone who is not fitting the their uh, the, the the basic criteria of their organization and then they measure the impact that okay look 
this is someone who uh, was not uh, you know, hired according to the criteria that we have set in and look what disaster he or she is making or it can go to the other 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 uh, aspect also that they challenge their own selection criteria that look this person whom we hired out of our selection criteria but still he is performing and he has given us that thing which we were requiring so we may need to go back and change our um, selection criteria for that matter uh, then um, coming to pakistan crescent bahuman as i told earlier given you an example also it's a very uh, powerful management training program learning for last about 25 years um, that has given it executives that reached up to the vp level right i have just given you example in my previous slides uh, it's a very powerful very powerful management training program that they run they have, uh, the management trainees uh, within the organization who, who are brought in uh, a bunch of management trainees they they actually um, uh, were not allowed to go to their own department before going through all the system that they have about uh, 35 to 40 days of uh, initial programming for them that they have to sit understand and sit all the other departments even if textile engineer has to go to the finance and HR and engineering and supply chain and all the other departments and need to understand and in, in, in EHS also that how the other departments are working so that was a very very powerful tool for uh, the organization though not all of those it, and it is not meant that way also that all the management trainees could reach up to that level but yes this provides a very good platform uh, for the individual whoever uh, can take up that challenge and for the organization to understand and identify that okay we have brought in this 20 or 25 people pool of people into the management training programs and now we are going to invest in them and now and then we will have a few of them going up to the ladder and of course there is a channel level also um, that people who, who, who leave who could not be um, of their same caliber then in Kohirur Maple Leaf they do a personality testing and has barred any recruitment the officers cadre into the management cadre like in assistant manager level and above that uh, uh, for less than 14 years of education so they have understood that this is important for them then Serena Hotel and Islam at one time used to conduct group interviews where young graduates are settled in a group discussion mode so they are uh, uh, they were taking uh, this kind of an initiative also that in a group discussion Discussion, they could identify that okay there are 20 people who are given a topic and they are discussing something and then out of these 20 people we will be shortlisting um, a set number of people to go to the next level of the interviews and a group of managers would be overseeing that uh, uh, that process of a group discussion uh, then Neatel in a starts hiring process uh, on the basis of the numbers in the 10th grade and these numbers then go on to play a very major role in their organization in their career uh, so these are one a few of the examples uh, within the organ uh, Pakistani organizations um, and then um, there's a longer example of Unilever how does that uh, uh, does Unilever uh, does the their recruitment processes Unilever used to take four to six months to narrow its two hundred 150,000 students application down to a few hundred higher so that was one of their uh, bigger challenges but uh, with millennials expected to be at 60% of its work by 2020 it needed a faster process of course so it ditched resumes and phone screens to an end-to-end -end digital process it starts with a quick mobile enabled application form that automatically populates from LinkedIn profiles, those who meet the standard requirements then go to a gamified assessment for fit where they play 12 brief games. The top third scores advance to video interviews in which they record answers. The last stage is a day in the life of discovery mm, center where candidates get a feel for what it means to work at Unilever while being assessed by the company's leader. So this is uh, basically one of uh, uh, a very uh, extensive example of uh, how Unilever does that. Uh, it, it goes on to show all these examples that I've given specifically for Unilever also, it goes on to show that how, uh, uh, what kind of importance companies give to uh, their hiring processes, uh, what kind of importance they 
they give to uh, bringing in the right talent within the organization and how important it is to bring into the bring in the right talent uh, within the organization uh, that those people who are uh, uh, to be brought into the organization they should be the people who should uh, uh, perform well and it is it it goes on to show that it is um, a very very important investment into the organization right so uh, this is uh, the session this is the introductory and uh, startup session that uh, we have just uh, um, presented here uh, hope you like that and in our next sessions we would be moving ahead for with some specifics in terms of the um, hiring uh, standards the procedures and of course the interviewing skills and how you can bring in the right people into the uh, organization so if you have any questions please write in the comment section below or you can also directly email me and I would be very happy to answer those individual queries as well at my email address which is umar.raza at abundance.com.pk you can reach me at my twitter handle which is uh, Bhutta Umar and you can also if you want to know more about me you can go into my LinkedIn profile by the name of Umar Raza thank you very much for watching and have a nice day take care